Hey guys, Jeffrey here. Now, before I share with you a Taylor story, I wanted to give this story a bit more context because I feel like he has such an amazing story and he wouldn't do it justice if I don't show you this context right here. So this is uh, what you're seeing here is um, a screenshot or a screen capture of my relationship rival group and it's reserved for members only. But this is a post that Taylor made a few moments ago. So he says here, I'm just gonna read this word forward. A shared win today for my wife and me. I remember in one of the first modules, Jeffrey talks about how she can't see a future with you because of the past she has with you and the relationship. So true, but because of the program and countless hours it took to create the modules, we had to learn and implement into our daily lives. My wife is beginning to see a future with the man she married seven years ago. As you can see here, this is a real person, right? Taylor Williams is, um, and it's the actual guy, same guy as well. I've always thought of marriage as a commitment. Divorce was never an option. I was angry and bitter that she wanted to leave me. I couldn't believe what my ears were hearing her say. I also couldn't believe some of the things my wife did during the time she told me she wanted space. The real point I want to share with you here is to never give up and you don't quit just because they have given up on you. I was eaten up by anxiety and depression initially. I will never forget the prayers I would have in the middle of the night asking God to remove the pain I felt in my stomach, but because the program helped me heal, it helped me shift internally to become strong and get back to me, to who he was. I needed to share this today because of the transformations that has taken place since I've joined this community of amazing people is real. This is a screenshot of our conversation this afternoon as tangible proof that this program does work. It does not take two to tango. Biggest myth, right? It doesn't take two to tango. It's you that can steer the course of the relationship and regardless of your past. Your past does not dictate your future. Emotions can change and they will change if we work for it. I'm incredibly grateful for this opportunity and I haven't stopped learning everything that this course has to offer. I've heard from a friend a long time ago that God made AA for alcoholics to find the solution to their drinking problem. Today, I believe that God made Relationships Revival, my course, for men and women who never give up on their marriage. They want to live a happy and productive life with the person they committed their lives to. We just didn't know how to be successful in our relationship. So closing words here, no matter how painful your past has been, work it because you're worth it. By that I mean, there's nothing magical about the information in the program, nothing that will magically cure you just by hearing it. But if you do the work, if you turn the words into practice, you can make progress. Thank you men and women for all the encouragement. I wish all of you a great week. So I'm blue text, wife is gray. Basically, she said, I love you so much, uh, right here. I love you more and here's to the future. And this right here would be unfathomable in the beginning of their relationship, in the beginning of their journey. It will be unfathomable given the big dip that they were in. Now, I'm about to let Taylor speak more about his story, about his journey, about the big dip as he calls it. Um, so I'll let Taylor take over it right now. But I wanted to give you this context so you can understand the full extent of his story as well. What's up, everybody? My name is Taylor Williams. Um, guys, I want to tell you all about this program and what it's done for me. Um, I joined this program uh, sometime in the middle of February. On February 10th, my wife and I... My wife and I sat on the couch... And she explained to me that she's not happy, that she wants to leave. Um, this was devastating for me. I had no idea. Um, we sat there, we talked. I was clearly not prepared. I was hurt. Uh, anxiety, uh, the pain that you'd feel in your stomach, uh, the depression from anxiety. These are feelings, uh, men and women, that I've never felt before. And... Uh, I went on YouTube and found Jeffrey's channel somehow by the grace of God. And everything he started saying on these YouTube videos that he worked so hard on, I think he pumps out three or four of these a week. Um, and let me turn this off. 
I listened to these videos and they, they just, they made so much sense and so much sense that I was ready to do the master class. Uh, and I didn't care what it cost. The money is not, a, doesn't matter. Um, what matters is, is saving your relationship and making sure that you and your wife or your husband can be happy uh, moving forward and climb out of this dip. I'll talk about that later. So uh, I got immediately involved, um, you know, very big on taking notes. Uh, treat this like a college class. You don't sit there and ride around in your truck or car or do it when you're working out or, you know, when it's convenient for you. You really have to focus and you really have to take good notes. And he does a wonderful job explaining how to do that. Um, so as I was going through this program, there were things going on, guys, that were, um, I knew there wasn't something right. I knew my wife was doing some things that would just absolutely destroy you and just hurt so bad. But Jeff talks about being untethered. Uh, he does, and he beats it into your head. He'll repeat it a hundred times at least. <laughs> uh, he'll just say it over and over again. But it's so important because we forget that. Um, and uh, it took me a while, guys, to get to that point to to untether myself from my wife. Uh, to get to a point where um, you know I am a good father. I am a good husband. Uh, and quit beating myself up. That does nothing for you. Okay, it does nothing. It's literally a wasted thought and it's weak, so cut it out if you're doing that. Get strong, uh, believe in yourself, and know that you are a good person. We've all made mistakes, and your wife or husband might start making mistakes while you're in this program that might deeply hurt you. Guys, they're lost, they're confused, and they're hurt because of what we have done. Uh, that's something you have to understand, and that's something that I've grown to understand, and. Uh, hitting that middle point, you know, for me in the beginning, it was trying to figure out how not to be attached. Um, and then I would go to the other end of the spectrum. And Jeff talks about this too in the program. So then I would completely detach myself from her. Uh, that's not good. Um, so you got to be in the middle. And that, that for me was probably the hardest part was trying to find that middle ground. Um, but when I did, um, and I was okay, no matter what she was doing, what was going on, um, I was okay and I was happy. Um, and that's, that's a good thing because that's hard to do when the person you love uh, says that they don't wanna be with you. And, um, you know, my marriage means the world to me. And I know it means the world to her too. And, um, if you can get into this program and actually focus and hang on to every word and literally take notes, good notes, um, you're going to be okay, regardless of the outcome. And I love, love, love that. It's like, who cares about the outcome? doesn't matter because life's going to go on, right? You got to be of service to other people. You might have kids. You got to be present and you got to listen to them. And you're so freaking worried about your wife or your husband that you're not even focusing on what your kid's telling you. Not a good thing. You got to be okay with this in here. And this program did it for me. It really did. Um, you know, my wife, I'll share some personal stuff here. She, she, was, she was ticked off that I spent the money on this program because um, she asked me about it. And I was just like, I'm sorry. I actually, no, I didn't apologize. <laughs> I said, look, this is, this is for me. Okay. I get you're okay. And, and you want to move on that. That's fine. But for me, I need this program and I need to be okay with, with this in here. Okay. So earlier I was telling you guys about the dip. Um, my wife and I hit that dip and the dip sucks. Um, You'll find out in this program that uh, Jeffrey will prepare you because uh, at some point you're going to find out some truths about your wife or your husband um, and they're going to be hurtful as hell and it's going to not be fun. But you're going to have to be able to handle it. You understand? You're going to have to be able to handle it because if you don't handle it well, 
you don't have a chance, not a snowball chance of reckon, reconciling your marriage. So we hit that dip and, um, and I think all marriages hit them at some point. Um, we're just the ones that are in this position where our spouse is telling us they're going to leave. They're going to get a divorce. They, they don't want to be with us anymore. And we're the ones that actually sought out help. So kudos to all you guys watching this right now because you're already a step ahead. Some people just don't care. It's so easy to get a divorce. That's the easy road. Um, but that dip, when it comes, and it will, uh, you need to be prepared. And Jeff talks about learning this program and not just coasting through, okay? Learn it quickly, all right? Every day, spend time doing it. You know, there was one gentleman I watched, he said he would get up at 3.30 in the morning and start doing videos. If that's what you got to do and watch the videos and take the notes, get up at 3.30, get up at 4, get up at 5. You need to get up early, though, before your day starts because we all got a million things to do every single day. So find the time, make the time, and get ready because when the dip comes, it's not going to be fun. But if you're prepared for it, you can handle it. And... Um, that was one thing that I took very serious and I knew at some point it was going to come out and I just knew in my, you know, in your gut when things aren't right anyway. Okay. So you, you, depending on what the circumstances are, um, you're going to have a gut feeling that something's going on that you're not going to like it when you find out. So why not be prepared for it? All right. The program will prepare you for it. Um, and you'll be just fine. And, and you can tell, I immediately could tell, uh, especially when I got into the class um, and really started diving into this thing. And I'm not even close to finishing this program. And I've already seen incredible results in my relationship. And I, and I thank him and I thank all of you guys on the Facebook group for uh, sharing uh, your personal stories and commenting. And um, it's very encouraging. And I just uh, wish each one of you um, a great day. And, and, I, and I hope you guys find peace, confidence, wisdom, courage uh, to keep working this program. And, and, and I truly hope that you and your spouse are able to reconcile and get to a place where y'all are just back at the, uh, at the summit, you know, uh, you know, the top of the mountain like we talk about. It is uh, an incredible place to be, and it's something that my wife and I have finally, through all of the stuff we've gone through, and, just, and I'm talking a short amount of time, guys. A very short, we're talking just a couple months. It's been extremely rough, um, but in that amount of time, working this program and doing the things that Jeff talks about, we have gotten to a place where we have peace and we feel like human beings again, and. It's amazing, um, and I can't thank him enough, and I can't thank you guys enough on the group, too, and the Facebook and all the members. All righty. God bless. Love you guys. Have a great day, and we will maybe see you on another video. I don't know. <laughs> all right. Bye.